What happened to this astronaut's chin? You might have seen this photo of Sinita Williams, who recently returned from space after what was supposed to be eight days, ended up being nine months aboard the International Space Station. And that was due to technical issues with Boeing Starliner spacecraft. But spending nearly a year in space changes the human body in some pretty surprising ways. So on Earth, gravity constantly pulls us downwards and it shapes our body more than we realize. Our muscles are always constantly working against it, helping maintain their size and strength. And our bones are constantly rebuilding in response to its force. But in space, that constant pull disappears. And once you're floating in micro gravity your body begins to change so fluids stop settling in your lower body and drift upwards which can cause puffiness in the face and your heart doesn't need to pump as hard which can reduce its strength over time but most importantly your bones start losing density and nasa reports that astronauts lose 1 to 1.5 percent of their bone density every month in space and over nine months that's enough to subtly reshape parts of the skeleton especially bony prominent structures like the chin and without gravity muscles shrink too and when facial muscles thin, the bony features underneath, like the chin, can appear more pronounced. Astronauts even return to Earth a little taller, about two to five centimeters, and that's because their spines stretch out without gravity compressing it. Now, some of the viral images showing Sinita's chin have actually been photoshopped and exaggerated, so don't believe everything you see online. But I think what matters most is we should celebrate her safe return after an incredible journey and wish her a smooth transition back to life on Earth. Follow for more medical explainers like these.